Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here with a lesson, little boys and girls. Are you listening? We're going to learn about sacrifice. This is led by God. I believe that with all my heart. Listen, we're going to go to the dictionary. Mm. Sacrifice. Wow. Let us go to the offering part of sacrifice. Sacrifice means offering, burnt offering, gift, oblation. Number three. Whoa, here's the real one. Whoa, here's the kicker. Surrender. Giving up. Abandonment, renunciation, forfeiture, relinquishment, resignation. Mm. Now, when I looked up the word, when I looked down below here and it says he sacrificed his principles, that means he gave it up, he abandoned, he surrendered. Now, here's another one. Forego. Listen to this, you guys. You got to hear this. Because this is the kind of thing God is looking for from us. Forego. Mm, mm, mm. Do without. I've got a question for you. What are you willing to do without for God? Let me put it poetically. What are you willing to forego for God? What are you willing to give up? Are you willing to renounce anything? Surrender your rights. Part with. Abstain from. Uh-huh. Let your imagination fly with that one, baby. Refrain from. Cut out. Mm -hmm. Now, or do you want to keep it all just because you can? Now, I ask you that because we think of sacrifice um, I could sit here and tell you all day long. Brothers and sisters, I want you to give. Give till it hurts. You must give. And God will give back to you. Press down, shaking together, running over. And, and <laughs> I can tell you that God loves a cheerful giver. Give, 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 give till it's coming out of your ears. God is not asking for anything but the kind of sacrifice which is your reasonable service. When God asked you to give something up, when God asked you to forego something, we're not talking about money now. I'm just I was making a joke out of that. So you see how ridiculous that is compared to this. Because the money thing is not the major sacrifice everybody that God is looking for. Everybody else thinks great of it. All the pastors and the churches, they're like, whoa, money. But God is looking for love. God is looking for you giving up your rights. To be a butthole. When you have every right to be a butthole. When you deserve the right to be a butthole. God wants you to relinquish. Your anger. When you have the right to show your narrow behind. God wants you to refrain from cussing, from cursing, from malicious slander, from, from verbal abuse. He wants you to refrain from that. 
when you have the total freedom and your body is well able to open your mouth wide and let her rip, baby. These are sacrifices. When everything in you wants to raise all kind of unholy hell. But the God in you makes you forego those measures for God. Will you forego for God? Or will you forget God? Hmm. And have it your way, Wendy. You know, we don't always think about it. You know, we joke cussing, we fuss cussing, we, we cuss people out, we put them down, we make fun of people, we, we're catty, we're nasty, we're, we, we, we're rude, hateful, malicious. I, I saw a comment on the internet talking about, well, with your little... You probably have to keep your little fat, ugly butt uh, uh, out of the bar because you're too doggone drunk and you can't do without the beer. And I mean, I'm like, you don't even know this man. This man makes a comment. You comment and attack him. You don't even know him. I don't care if it comes out of your mouth or if it goes on paper. It's coming out of your heart because out of the abundance of the, the heart, the mouth speaks. When Jesus says you know them by the fruit they bear, we also know you by the words that fly out of your mouth. Whether they're seasoned with salt and coated with love, or whether they are cutting and sharp and nasty and rude and hateful and crude. Hmm? What sacrifice are you willing to make? What are you willing to surrender for God's sake? Huh? Are you willing to abstain from? Instead of giving your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. No, you'd rather, not all, excuse me, some of you would rather Give your bodies a living sacrifice. Let's get it on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Daddy been waiting for you. Mm-hmm. Take it off, baby. Take it all off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We got a little business to take care of. Well, when the Bible says... Whoremongers and adulterers will have their place in the lake of fire. I think it would be better to forego that, don't you? Don't you think it would be better to abstain? Hmm? And if you don't want to abstain, ask God to forgive you, fill you with his Holy Spirit, because you need a new nature, just like I did. And you... Ask God to give you the desire to do what's right and kill the desire to do wrong. See, it's not something you have to do all on your own. You don't have to do the sacrifice all by your lonesome. God stacks the deck in your favor. You've got the Holy Spirit working with you. You got a team of angels helping you. You got all kind of reinforcements backing you up. But you have to make the first move. And you know where the first move is made? Right here inside this nugget here. Noggle, whatever you want to call it. Right in that little cavity. Mm -hmm. That's where your first move is made. A made-up mind is half the battle, baby. That you are determined to sacrifice. Now, here's another meaning of sacrifice. 
boys and girls. Mm -hmm. Sacrifice, offering oblation, slaughter. You have to slaughter the works of your flesh. You have to do it in your mind before you can do it in reality. And once it's in your mind and you have presented that to God, God gives you the power, supernatural power, to resist the devil. And then what does the devil do? When you resist the devil, come on, all together now. If you resist the devil, he will flee. Do you even attempt to resist? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm challenging you. I'm challenging you because, see, God doesn't want a half-baked anything. He doesn't want a, a lover, a part-time lover. Let's put it like that. He doesn't want a part-time lover in today, out tomorrow, here today, gone tomorrow. Hey. You don't want it. What the heck do you think God wants with that? Well, we'll let you masticate on that one for a while. Look that word up. 